What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today's a special day. I want to wish everyone here a happy Valentine's Day. Today is February 14, 2020. And look what we got going on in the garden. I'm not going to keep this quick. I'm going to talk about this crazy phenomenon. This is the first time, the first time I'm ever experiencing this situation. Hold on one sec, I gotta back up here for one second. Now, sorry about that. I wanna keep it rolling, I wanna keep it hype. I still don't have anything growing down here. What a shame. But, <laughs> obviously as you can see, my basil is out of control. I'm gonna hit this remainder of this lettuce up here probably tomorrow. But, I don't understand what's going on here. If you could see what's going on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine heads of lettuce, this being a monster, and I'm so out of water too, I gotta get some water, but look at this crazy root system, okay? Guys, this lettuce is growing back. I cut this head, this head, this head, this head, that head, this head, that head, that head, and that head. I understand that this, this, this vegetable can reproduce itself. Not, oh no, let me, let me rephrase that. I, un, I, I understood that. I believe that. But now I really believe it. I mean, are you kidding me right now? Can this happen a third time? Can I cut this down? Am I cutting it a certain way? Because I didn't. I took a knife. I came down here and just went. Shh. I mean, guys, this is ridiculous. Look at this beautiful head of lettuce. I only fed this entire thing one time. One time did I put nutrients into these buckets. One time. And look what's going on. I mean, like, I'm like shocked. I wanted to... Uh, keep this I wanted this to just to grow a little bit because I thought this would be a great topic to discuss on the reproduction of this lettuce it's fascinating to me I mean I actually took these this is just a bunch of crap that was kind of laying around the sides here some of this like the dead leaves or whatever was going on but I'm, I'm, I'm like fascinated I'm like I'm like baffled by first of all this lettuce head I mean it is developing beyond I'm gonna put some I'm gonna fill it up with water I'm going to trim this all up right here, make it all nice, and I'm going to feed it. I'm going to give it nutrients. Now, I don't think there's, there's definitely no way to uh, trim down this root system. It's absolutely tangled, schmangled, and absolutely enormous. I mean, look inside. I mean, this is like super, I mean, I don't even know if I could save those net cups and I do save the net cups if you guys have watched my previous videos I save the net cups I save those clay pebbles the hydrotone I save all that after every single grow I don't think it's gonna happen after this one because of such a enormous massive root development this is interesting it's got a, this is like two here and two here but again I'm, I'm like I'm like what is going on I mean look it's got to be this lettuce. I haven't seen this happen on any other type of lettuce that I bought. Or seeds, that is. I mean, look. It's starting to grow here. I'll cut this down, trim this up, and we'll see what happens. I'll cut it down a little further down and really see what happens. Look. It's growing on top of this one. This is absolutely insane. I mean, the reproduction of this is just... It's, again, baffling me. It's causing me to, like, question things. I'm just so confused because I've never had another plant. Not that I really you know, throw or grow a lot of things in here besides lettuce, but I've, I've grown a lot of butter lettuce, stuff like that. But this is just wow, 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 wow. And I'm definitely just going to have to, uh, just to jump over, over to this side, I'm gonna take a couple of these and I'm gonna clone them because there's a lot of great nodes here. A lot of, uh, like for example, this, this little branch right here. You see it? You see how it is? It's got one big one here, one big leaf here. One leaf there, and two smaller ones. Come on, focus for me. There you go. One big here, one big there, two smaller ones, and this beautiful branch. Okay, I'll, I'll snip this branch, 
I'll be able to take this little small plank with just these, with just these top four, not even these, just those top four right there, and I could grow an entire plant like this, just from that. Isn't that amazing? It truly is. The smell is still just phenomenal on this basil. It's nice and, I mean the top ones are a little, they're getting a little uh, dried out because it's so close to the, uh, to the light, as you can see. But forget the basil. I'll, I'll show you guys how to clone those things. That's not a problem. Look at the freaking lettuce. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm going to be, you <laughs> I never, I never thought this would happen. I never thought this was possible. So excited about this, honestly. I can't wait to re-eat this lettuce. I wonder if it's just going to be as good. I mean, overall, it looks just as good. I mean, the stem system, just like the quality of the leaf, it's very nice. And, and they're not as hard as the other ones. Maybe this is like the softer stage. And then as it develops a little bit, it actually does harden up. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. If you've experienced something like this and you grow indoors, Make sure to comment down below. Tell me what's going on. Tell me how you, you know, what you grew and what can actually regrow. I would love to know that from people around the world. What are you growing that you could reproduce without actually germinating a seed and re, you know, re, you know, trying to regrow a seed? What have you done? Also, guys, make sure to give me the thumbs up and hit the like button. Uh, I think that's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure to hit the bell. This way you get notifications every single time I upload a video, which will be today. I love uploading Fridays. I don't know why I have a little bit of time on Friday, so that's why. Also, everything is down below, guys. Everything that you will need to grow like me. If you need seeds, if you need nutrients, hoses, pumps, fan. Somebody said that the fan is not listed in there. It's a vor Vornado and I will list it down below. Everything is listed down below. Everything from the storage shelving to the lights to the, the reservoirs, the nutrients, the pumps, even our trusty timer. If you guys didn't know, this is what really controls the whole thing. <laughs> Here's my little side station here. I actually need to place an order. This is how it comes like this. And this is how the uh, the rock wool comes. It's just cubed and it's in here. I actually got to place some uh, some orders of rock uh, the rock wool cubes. And this is the uh, aerator stone. This is the one that gives off all the air to create a beautiful, beautiful head of lettuce just like this. So that's really it. I just really just wanted to get on here, jump on here real quick, not even show my face. I just wanted to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Hopefully everybody's staying away from the coronavirus. Stay indoors if you're anywhere near those Wuhan cities. I mean, this thing is scary, especially when the CDC and the World Health Organization, they're saying that you never know what can happen in the United States if you're actually in the United States. I mean, if you're traveling, you better wear that mask. You better bring wipes and all sorts of stuff. I'm super scared of all that germy stuff. If you're scared of germs, if you're scared of flus and viruses, hit me, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're dealing with it. Also, honestly, I used to, I, I went several years without getting a flu shot. But then after I had a kid, I'm going to make sure I have a flu shot. But make sure you get your flu shots. I mean, that's like preventative number one. Whatever fairy tales you're hearing, Make sure you do it. I mean, it could literally save your life. I mean, so many people die of the flu every single year. It's really important. And uh, just for a little extra health benefit, make sure to hit that sauna every single day to uh, basically cook up any viruses inside of you, which is super important too. That was a lot of just nonsense. Sorry about that. Super excited. I'm just, when I came in here the other day and I saw this, uh, I had to, I had, I had to bring my entire neighborhood in here and just let them know that I am regrowing lettuce heads. <laughs> like I've never even heard of this, but apparently you can. So after you're done your lettuce tonight, make sure you drop that into the dirt. Maybe you could regrow your lettuce. I mean, this is. Can you imagine just like having 
and I can because I will because I have. I could have lettuce nine here, nine here, nine here, 27 across. Okay, can you imagine if I'm eating ahead, eating ahead, which is unbelievably delicious. I don't know if you've ever eaten a let like lettuce when you're just cutting it off, how fresh it is and how just like tasty and silky it is with like a little bit of crisp to it. It's unbelievable, it's unparalleled to anything you might have had previously, honestly. Look at those beautiful lettuce hats. I gotta, I gotta remember what C this is and the company that I got it from, and I gotta order a bunch. Literally, I want like a hundred seeds immediately because if I could truly sustain it like this and just continuously regrow, which I will try, and I will keep you guys informed. Hopefully, that all that really happens, and I can just get no joke, like twenty-seven here. I can get another twenty-seven down there. But I really want to try some new things. I really got to get, get going on that immediately. It's important, guys. You don't want that weird stuff that they're spraying on lettuce out there in the fields. You want to grow your own. You want to try to sustain the best possible way. All you need is electricity and some water. Okay, you, you really don't even need nutrients, but it's always good to have them. And this is the nutrients that I use right here. It's the botanic care, the kind, it's the grow, the base, and the bloom. And also, don't forget the Clonex back here, okay? I got the huge bottle because I, I use a fair amount of it because I, I think it just works well. Ah, here they are. This is actually the Rockwell cubes. This is, what they, this is how they come in this huge thing, okay? Those, that's your growing medium if you guys weren't aware of what the, um, of what the Rockwell cubes are. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this little station of mine. But basically I set it up like some old lights and I actually bought some of these smaller containers like this. This is actually a good size container. And I was thinking of uh, just making a system or two and either doing a giveaway or selling them to people uh, that want a, a system already set up by somebody that knows what's going on. Basically create a kit. You know, let's say the kit costs like 150 bucks or less or more, I don't know. But it would include, for example, like a timer like here's here's a single timer you know what I mean if you have like one light but you're also just, you're it's not just one light I mean this is for specifically for a light but you're also going to need one uh, unless it's going directly to the outlet because you never want to turn off your uh, your pump the pump never turns off at night the lights go out for a period of time but the pump the pump is the lungs and you want it breathing you want it percolating and providing the oxygen to the bottom of those roots so you definitely want that. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's Friday. Everyone's doing good. Life is good, guys. Hopefully you're feeling the same. I don't always feel good. But when I do feel good, I just, uh, I'm feeling good. That's really all I got for you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell. Hit all the links down below. Make sure to get all the goodies to grow like this and to sustain a beautiful indoor grow. Guys, this is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. Make sure to find me on Grow Indoors 365 at Facebook, which is facebook.com backslash Grow Indoors 365. You can also find more images and products over at growindoors365.com. I'm gonna be coming out with some shirts. I'm gonna be coming out with a new logo. I think Grow 60, uh, growth, growth 360, <laughs> Grow Indoors 365. I think it's got a lot of future. It's got a lot of great potential to be able to unite a beautiful community across the world of people growing. And I think it's, gonna, it's a great culture overall. Again, thanks to you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend.